We're gonna be creating this super fire vintage film flash transition. These niggas got me fucked up, dog. I'm too ill. <laughs> If you guys want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. Let's hop right into this. All right, so we have this clip from the Drake Jumbotron music video here. We're going to go through and find screenshots that we want to replicate. And all we're going to do is go down to our camera here, click on it and import the frame into our project. Now, once you have a few of those, for this example, I went through and did five of them. You then want to drag them and drop them inside of your timeline. Now that I have all my photos inside of my timeline, we're going to get started and line them up with our footage here. Now I'm going to find where this footage cuts right here and i'm going to line it up exactly with that so if we play it through we'll have this what we're going to do next is we're going to open up my boy brian's film frame transition pack if we go over to film frames here we have a bunch of different options that we can use to add cool borders to these pictures i'm going to go in and just drag a few for example here now that we have these in here i'm going to drag them on top of our footage and i'm going to align it just by playing with the rotation and the scale and then you can uncheck uniform scale and play with the width and the height just like so to make it match your frame and i'm going to do this for each one. Now that I have all the fill mats on each frame, as you guys can see properly, we're going to go ahead and add some motion to them. So what we're going to do is highlight each one and we're going to nest it just like so. Now, once we have each of them nested, we're going to go ahead and click on the first one and add a few effects here. The first effect we want to drag and drop on is directional blur. Then you want to follow that up with some noise. Now going into effect controls here, we're going to go into our directional blur and we're going to keyframe our blur length at the beginning and we're going to bring it up to something like, let's say 120. And then we're going to go about here, two frames in and bring it down to zero. And then what we're going to do is do the exact same thing at the end. We're going to press control C to copy this keyframe that says zero here, paste it here with control V. And then we're going to copy this keyframe that has 110, paste it here and bring it to the end. So we'll have an effect like this where it blurs and then blurs out. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn up our noise on this as well. And we're gonna make sure we don't use color noise. Now we're gonna go into Lumetri Color now and turn up our contrast all the way. Play with our highlights a little bit, play with our saturation a tad bit. And then a lot of film photos really have a lot of green in them. So I'm gonna bring the greens up and the oranges up as well. And just mess around with it until you get it to your liking. I like something like this. Now what you wanna do is press Control C on this clip here and then press Control Alt V and paste it on the rest of them just like so. And you're gonna have this unique effect of them all clipping through just like this got me up, dog. I'm too Ill. which is super fire so far but we're going to spice it up a little bit more with some sound design so all these sound design assets i'm going to use are going to be linked in the description for absolutely free we're going to start off with our camera clicks here now if we crop the first one at the beginning here and i show you it by itself it's going to sound like this and make sure right before each image comes in, it plays right about here. Now I'm gonna do this for each one by holding Alt and dragging the duplicate it. Now that we have all that set up here, these niggas got me fucked up, dog. I'm too ill. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn them up a little bit more just by maybe eight. And what you can do to make it stand out a little bit more is to grab a different camera shutter like the end of this one here and mix it in with every other one. So every other one will have these two shutters in. If we play that through, it gives it a little bit of a different sound. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this camera motor sound effect here. And I'm gonna put that in the background of this just to add a little bit more texture. And I'm gonna fade it out just like that. Got me up, dog. I'm too if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe because I'm gonna be uploading every single day for the rest of the month, like I said. And if you do wanna go grab those film mat overlays, they'll be linked in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.